So now, uh, in this one, we are going to solve. We are going to solve um, question two B from the same paper, Physics 10, 10, 2024 exam. So this question, I've solved it before, but let's try to solve it again. So the question is, a stone is thrown at a vertical or at a velocity of 21 meters per second at 30 degrees above the horizontal from the top of the building, 16 meters, 16 meters high as shown below. Find part A, the time of flight, part B, the horizontal range, but C, the maximum height H from the ground. Now, one thing we should understand, guys, is that eh, this projectile motion question is coming from the third case. The combination of the first case and the third case, or and the second case, gives us what? The third case. Now, let's try to understand something. Okay? I know to say you, maybe you know that other formula for finding the time, the complicated one, for using a quadratic equation. But in here, I'm going to show you the simplest method on how you can find the time in the third trajectory. Okay. One thing we should understand is that from this point here, this is basically the second trajectory. Okay. And you are going to be you are going to find you also have the h. I will denote that one as as small letter. And you also know that from this part here, if this is the case, we do have another case, which is case one. So the combination now, I want you to understand that. From this point here, let me denote this to be A, I will denote this to be B, I will denote this to be C. I, we, we should understand that for me to find the time from point A to B, that is the second trajectory. So it comes from this formula where we say V final is equal to the V initial plus GT. Now we are talking about Y component, it is moving in Y direction. When it reaches at B, the final velocity is zero. It is going against the gravity G will be negative. So we are talking about V sine theta minus now GT because G is negative. Shift this to the other side, it will be negative V sine theta. This, I want to find the T divided by negative G, negative G. And therefore, the T from A to B, it will be given by V sine theta divided by g. This is the time from A to B. Okay? So I'll write it here. Time from A to B is V sine theta I divided by g. Now, another thing we should have to take note here is this. The time from B to C, that is now 3, 4. So we are starting from this point where the final velocity or the initial velocity is zero because we are starting from this point. At this point, the final velocity was zero. Now it, that is going to be my initial speed because that's where I'm starting from. So I have got the whole of this H. So the third form, the, the second form, uh, equation of the motion is going to work where we say the displacement is equal to V initial times T plus half GT squared. But we should note that the initial speed is zero. This is going to be cancelled out. S is H. Okay, so I end up having this. But my goal is find the time. I will do times two everywhere to get rid of the fraction to the other side. So if I do times two, it will be now two H being equal to GT squared divided by G divided by G. Therefore, T squared will be equal to 2h divided by g. I can get the square root. So t will be equal to the square root of 2h divided by g. So this is now t from, from b to c being equal to the square root of 2h 
This edge is the maximum height from the top there all the way to the ground. Okay? Find it by that. But you know what? You can't find one thing I want you to before we even continue here. You can't find the time without finding the maximum height. And but C is asking us to find the maximum height, meaning that I can first go ahead and find the maximum height, which is part C. So before I even find the time here, I can go back and find the third one. So the third one, I want to find the maximum height. So the maximum height, I already have the height from this point all the way to that point. I just need to find the height, which is this part here, this height. So that height, I'm going to denote it with the small h. So the second trajectory now, if I have this. Let me just do it from here. So I'm trying to find this h. Okay. Now to find that h, one thing we should know that it's going to be thrown. We have been given an angle here. We know that then we have the initial speed. So, the third equation is going to work. V final squared is equal to the V initial squared plus 2G H because H is now D. One thing we should note is that when it reaches at the maximum height here, the final is zero. So, this guy is zero. So, we have the initial. Now, this initial, since we are talking about Y component, is going to be Vy but it's going to be V sine theta, but it is squared. Now, G will be negative, meaning this is going to be negative now, like that. Shift this to the other side, you have this. I'll have negative 2G H. My goal is to find the H. I'll divide both sides by negative 2G, negative 2G. So these will cancel. H will be equal to V sine theta, negative and negative will go. I divide this by 2G. I'll use this formula, but some other people, what they tend to do is that it's basically the same as saying H is V squared sine squared theta divided by 2G. It's the same thing. It's basically the same thing. So I need first to find, now, for me to find the capital H, the capital H is as a result of the addition of 16 plus H. The H which I need to find using this formula. Okay? That is the H which is going to help me now to come there. So I'll do this. I'll get rid of this to find the small H. There we go. H will be equal to What is my V? My V is 21. Okay. Sign the angle is 30. So this has to be squared. Remember, if you want, you can do 1, 1, you square sign and you square 21. But the best way for you not to make any mistake, just square everything together. So we have 2 times 9.8. You should take note that under projectile motion, we do not get G as negative because when you are driving the formula, we have already dealt with that one. Okay? So the G is always positive. And you don't have to struggle on that one. So H will be equal to, so I'll say 21 sine 30. I square it. That is 10 I'm getting 10 or 110.25 I divide that open brackets 2 times 9.8 then I close the brackets so I'm getting 5.623 meters as my H now <clears throat> this H I need to add it so I have now 16 plus 5.623. So my H will be, I do plus 16 there. So my H is basically 21.2. 
my h is 21.625 meters. If you want, you can round it off and say it is 21.63. So now, for part 3, that is the answer for h being equal to 21.625 meters. That is the maximum height h. So now I can go back to part A to find now what? To find time because I have the capital H. So the total time is given by this formula. I want just to simplify it. So the total time is given by time from T from A to B which is V sine theta divided by G plus the square root of 2H divided by g. If you want, you can find it separately. You find v sine theta. You find this and then you come and find that. Then you come and add them. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going just to add. I'm going just to plug in the values. So what is v? v is 21. Sine 30. I divide it by 9.8 plus the square root of 2. h is 21. So this formula, you can't use it without finding the h. It's not possible. I plug in like that. So, what is 21 sine 30? Then I divide it by 9.8. That is 1.07. So, I'm going to write it all the way to 4 like that. Then, Again, inside the uh, the square root, we have two times twenty one point um, six two five. Then the answer I find is forty three point two five times or divided by nine point eight. Then I'm finding four four point four one. Then I square root this, so I'm getting twenty one or I'm getting two point one zero zero seven. Like that, seven seven. So this answer, I'm going. I'm going just to do and do plus one point zero seven one four three, like that. So the answer I'm getting is um, three point one seven three point one seven two 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 seconds. But time, in most cases, we just leave it in uh, one decimal place. So you can just say 3.17 or 3.2, or like that. That's the total time. Okay? So the T total is 3.2 seconds, like that. So this one I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you is the very simple and you have first to find the H. Okay? So you can't, in short, finding time, even if you use that other formula, you cannot find without finding the H. So the first part, uh, I had to go to part 3 to find the H. I go back to part 1 to find the what? The time. Now let's, let's do the last one, which is part 2 now. Okay? So part two is asking us to find the horizontal range. So range is given by Vx times t. But what is Vx? Vx is always V cos theta, just like that. V cos theta times t. The time we are talking about here is the total time, which is 3.2. So we can plug in the values. V is 21. Because 30 degrees times 3.2. So the range will be equal to 21 cos 30, then times 3.2. So what I'm finding here is um, 58.19. 58.19. So I can just say 58.2. 58.2 meters being equal to my range. Okay? So, that is it for this type of trajectory. So, one thing you need to, to remember is that eh, 
you cannot find the time without knowing the maximum height. At the same time, you cannot find the maximum height without first finding this, this small h of the second trajectory. So you need to be familiar with the second trajectory because for you to know this type of trajectory, we need first to focus on the second trajectory where you need to know how to find the time, okay, from A to B. Then also the, the, the h in that case. So that h is going to help you to find the maximum height whereby you are going to add to the height of the building. So in most cases, you are going to be given the height of the building. Like in this case, they will give you the height of the building. Then if they give you the height of the building, just find that other height, then add. That is the maximum height. To find the total time, find using the square root of 2h divided by g, find that time. Again, find the time for the second trajectory v sin theta over g, then add it, that is the total time. To find the range, you know that is v cos theta times time. The time is the one we are talking about, the total time. The same time you have found using that formula which I have given you. As simple as that.